Okay, so first, let's start with a small discussion about the concept of work. What exactly is work in the thermodynamic definition? Is work sitting down at an office for 10 hours a day in front of a computer? Or is work perhaps, say, doing a pull-up in the gym? Or lifting a set of weights? So this section really is designed to be able to introduce you to the concept of work and to understand a couple of notations that we will be using throughout this course. So first, let's consider this example of this man. He is working very hard to push this box across the floor. And is the man doing work? Know that for something to do work, or for the man to do work in this case, there must be a force and there must be a displacement. Force without displacement is not work. Displacement without force is not work. What does that mean? Consider if the box is really too heavy for the man to move and the man is unable to move the box across the distance d. That means the man has not done any work. Consider a second example. If the box is traveling through space, there's no gravity, no friction acting on it, and it doesn't stop. No force is acting on it, and hence it is not doing work even though there is displacement. Hence, the work done by the man is defined as force times displacement, F times D. And the units that you should know, the SI units, are newtons and meters. If you have, say, distance measured in a different kind of a unit, say in uh, kilometers, in miles, you will have to convert it to meters in order to achieve the SI unit of joules for work. The same for force. If it's in something else other than newtons, for instance, pounds, you will have to convert it to newtons first before you can figure out how much work the man is doing. Now, I want you to understand this concept. Even though the man is pushing the box across the displacement, across the floor, you need to understand from the point of view from the box, the box is also doing work. The box is essentially resisting the force of the man with an equal force in the opposite direction. That means the box is doing negative work. Hence, the work done by the box is negative F times D. You have to understand the concept of work and inverse work. If the man is pushing the box across the floor, the box is doing inverse work in the direction of which the man is applying the force. All right, let's consider this second example. In this example, a man is trying to compress a piston by the distance V, okay? What exactly is the amount of force that the man is putting down onto this piston? It is this amount of force divided by the area of the piston. That's F over A. And that F over A gives us pressure, which has the SI unit pascals. Hence, the work done by the man is F over A, the amount of pressure, multiplied by V. So, let's take a look at the entire work equation, shall we? Now, F over A has the SI units, Newton meter squared. V, which is essentially the volume of the gas or liquid by which he is compressing the entire system by, is given in meter cube. If we were to cancel these off, we will effectively get Newton meters, which is in joules. So remember, as I said in the previous slide, 
no matter what unit you are using to measure both force and displacement, you have to convert it to Newton meters in order to figure out how much work the system is doing. So know that although the man is doing positive work, the gas is also doing inverse work. And the work done by the gas is negative PV because it is essentially doing work in the opposite direction of the force. All right, let's look at another example. Let's consider this man lifting a box. What exactly is the force that the man is exerting on the box? The force is effectively, okay, the mass of the box, okay, that's the mass, multiplied by the gravitational pull of the earth on the box. And what exactly is the displacement? The displacement is, okay, let's call it H for in this example, the distance by which the man has lifted the box. Hence, the work done by the man is MGH. Effectively, the mass of the box multiplied by the gravitational pull of the earth multiplied by the height by which he has lifted up the box. And of course, the box itself is doing inverse work. Hence, the work done by the box is negative mgh. In this final example, let's consider a man drawing a bow. What exactly is the work being done by the man? Okay, The work being done by the man is the amount of force he exerts on the bowstring multiplied by the length of the draw. And when he does that, energy is stored as potential energy. And when the man releases the bowstring, it is converted into kinetic energy. However, know that the conversion of force from the work done by the man to kinetic energy is not 100%. And this really speaks to the first law of thermodynamics, that no energy is created nor destroyed, but merely converted to one form to another. And when that happens, usually there are inefficiencies at play. For instance, friction, for instance, um, you know, maybe the string is not taut enough. And the conversion from potential to kinetic energy is usually not perfect. We will discuss this concept more as you move along in the course. Now in this slide, I want to give a brief introduction to some other forms of work you might encounter. Things such as electrical work, which is given as voltage times current times time. Electrical work is expected to be converted into mechanical work at one point or another. There is also magnetic work, which is the field strength multiplied by its magnetization strength. And this can also be converted to physical work. And then there is chemical work. For instance, this is something known as the latent heat of fusion for carbon. 394 kilojoules per mole, depending on which textbook you refer to. What this means is that by burning, say for instance, one mole of charcoal or one mole of coal, you liberate about 394 kilojoules worth of energy for you to convert to some other forms of work, for instance, mechanical work. So moving on, work can have many different definitions. However, in thermodynamics, we tend to convert it back to mechanical work.